Hello everybody. It's me again, Rajni from Sashakt Empowering Lives. Yet another week, yet another topic. So, what are we going to discuss today? Today we will talk about creating a sensory friendly home. So basically, what does it mean? A lot of you ask that question to me. Uh my child has sensory issue, my child has sensory issue. Sensory issue, I'll give a very quick uh, explanation. Basically, sensory issue means that there are in total in our body there are eight senses. Five you already know. The visual, the auditory, the olfactory, that means the sense to smell, okay? The taste and the touch. Apart from this, there are two internal senses which is vestibular and proprioception vestibular means the sense of body balance when a child is walking and falls down time and again then vestibular dysfunction is there right so vestibular is basically body function and proprioception is sense of pressure some children you must have seen do this this they do this or they try to throw you to themselves or them to you why that happens there is a proprioceptive sensory dysfunction there is a need for pressure and for this the ot's they give the weighted jackets and you know they roll the child in a blanket okay and then they give joint compression all of that they do so these are the seven and the eighth one is interoception deficit interoception means the ability to recognize if the body is hungry if the body is full like i want to eat or i don't want to eat uh, the ability to feel the pain if you get a cut there are some children with autism that will not feel the pain when they get a cut so that is interoception deficit so very quickly i summed it up for you what all are the sensory deficits or the sensory dysfunctions that your kid with autism will be feeling from time to time so so far so good if you are liking the content please go ahead and share subscribe and press the notification button also like if you are liking the content so that you don't miss anything when time more videos come up also there is more of learning that we offer on the instagram every tuesday uh, 8:30 to 9:30 you can go in the description and click on the insta handle and from there you can join every tuesday 8:30 to 9:30 there is a live program that happens where i take up parents questions and answers also we have the weekly master class autism master class where i train the parents every friday 7 pm to 10 pm the link of which is given in the description box all right so having said that let's continue with our topic of sensory dysfunctions now creating a sensory friendly home that means you have to first identify if your child has a sensory deficit say for example if your child you know you start the mixer and the child shrieks ah doesn't like the sound of the mixer or the cooker or now that diwali time is around the sound of fire crackers and they will shout sometimes if there is thunder and lightning and gad 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 happening and the child is scared too much scared more than what a regular child would get scared and you're like what's happening to this child why is this child so freaked out those are auditory sensory dysfunctions same way certain colors can be very piercing to the child certain things can be very less obvious to the child these are all sensory dysfunctions so when we talk about creating a sensory friendly home what it means is creating a safe space where the child doesn't feel the sensory overwhelm or the burden and slowly working on it so that it can be dissolved so for doing this what you will do first thing is you will identify what is your child sensory deficit like i said you can identify auditory if they have a if they will freak out listening to a sound they have a visual deficit then they can't see a particular color or some flash of light and they will shout and do this all of this they will do that is the visual uh, sensory deficit if the child you know all the time comes like i told you pressing like this and like this and want to throw themselves on you or towards the floor or the wall that means they need the joint compression so you have to identify what is the need of the child if they are walking and they fall down 
you know they have vestibular dysfunction so when you create a friendly home environment what do you do now you cannot stop cooking dal or using the pressure cooker you cannot control nature and natural forces there will be thunderstorm and lightning you cannot so what you can do you cannot not use the mixer so what you can do is the only way the child will try to overcome the sensory dysfunction is you give a hug to the child you give a lot of love to the child warmth and affection and allow somebody to switch on the mixer maybe for a 5 second and you are hugging the child and standing next to the mixer and saying nothing will happen see it's okay breathe breathe that's fine relax breathe then maybe for 10 seconds literally first you will do from a distance and slowly you will keep reducing the distance until the child begins to and gets comfortable with the sound and begins to tolerate the sound once the child begins to tolerate the sound internally the child develops that resistance and the fear goes away the child becomes more comfortable other uh, things that you can do at home is if the child has vestibular sensory dysfunction you can create a hurdle path now how do you create a hurdle path at home that's what ot's do so you take buckets you put them ulta inverted okay you take a tub you put it inverted patla hota hai ghar pe the 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 thing the stool on which the maid sits and washes the clothes you keep that have a sofa have a table chair then make a hurdle path get the kid to go up down jump sometimes go underneath give the body balance also in the evening make sure you take the child to the jungle gym you know that big machine that jhula on which you have lots of you know the monkey bars and you climb up and you go here and there all of that you do with the kid so that the sense of body balance can be improved most importantly don't scold the child talk to the child with a lot of love and all the time say i know you can do it i love you i'm so proud of you don't say itna bhi nahi hota chalne nahi hota bar bar gir jate ho dekhte nahi ho don't do all of that don't scold saying you can't walk you can't run you know not like that every time you see they making an effort you encourage them okay so like this you create a hurdle path at home you create various various methods at home so that the child is kept safe also another very effective strategy as i have experienced with my students all across the world actually is that use youtube so if there is thunder and lightning happening outside and there's lot of sound you cannot control but if it is a video of thunder and lightning that's always in your control so don't wait for actual thunder to come and freak your kid out if your child has auditory sensitivities switch on thunder and lightning on youtube increase the volume insane hug the child tell the child you are safe this is in our control give the remote to the child and switch it off or mute it say see nothing it cannot harm you reduce the volume go close to the tv get the kid to touch the tv and say i love you this is safe nothing will happen slowly the child will lose the fear and develop the resistance towards the sound which was so harsh to the kid initially like this slowly introducing the child to the area of stimulus helps the child build that internal mechanism coping mechanism and sensory deficits don't trouble so much also for a vestibular dysfunction make sure you don't have too many edgy corners in your house okay so say for example if you look at my table so for me to work in my office with a table with edgy corners is okay but at home we must have round corners okay so just 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 reduce the edginess so that while they are walking and don't scold them you are clumsy you don't see you bump into walls and you bump into tables no is the vestibular dysfunction so create a sensory safe environment get the kid kid to go past that place and not get hurt so these small small changes as you make in the house your child's life becomes more happy peaceful and less prone to accidents and less anxious i hope you like the content in case you liked it you loved it please give us 
a good comment i love to read your comments in the comment section press the like button press the notification bell subscribe to the channel and i shall see you next week with a brand new topic